and gentlemen, welcome to Quarantine Etiquette with the Royal Butler and the Royal Dash Rants, episode 20. Now, from the feedback and the comments that we've had, a few of you would like to know how to clean items around the home. And as we're in lockdown, it's the perfect time to start spring cleaning. I've been doing that with the Royal Dash Rants. We've been going around the rooms and giving them a good, good brush out. However, there is certain items that have to be cleaned in a certain way. And we thought we could demonstrate how we do this so that you can get a few ideas and learn a few tricks of the trade, if you like. Hmm. Yes, so it, it looks like the, the doggies have always had their go at plumping, which was interesting. Now I'm going to demonstrate the way that I like to do it. So the first thing you need is a cushion. I'm actually going to plump this first, because this has always been sat on, so you just do it like that. The idea is to get some air back into the cushion, and then place it down like that. And then you're going to do the same with the cushion, give it a good plumping because everybody enjoys a good plumping. <clears throat> and there we go, voila. Now, once it's done, you saw the amount of dust coming off the chair. If you have got a lot of dust, then obviously you want to take the cushion outside and give it a good beating. You've seen this in the traditional movies, it's still relevant today. So if you've got a lot of dust on the cushion uh, or on any part of the chair, it's a good idea obviously to take it out, give it a good plump bring it back in and then you're going to need to do some dusting obviously because of any dust that may have been spread from doing the plumping. Next we're going to be cleaning the paintings and the pictures and for this you need a variety of brushes. Now here we've got uh, a feather duster and we've also got a brush. Now the duster comes in handy for frames that are not so uh, delicate so you can go around them quite quickly. For the frames that have got a bit more detail on them, for example gilding, you might want to use a brush like this, a very soft bristle brush because then it can go around the frames without taking any of the gold off hopefully. Now I'm going to demonstrate how obviously to do this the correct way but before that I'm going to let one of the Royal Dash Rants demonstrate how they do it. Now as I'm training the youngest let's let him see how he does it. Imba, Imba, come boy, well done, get, get your, do, do you want this one? Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously take your brush and then very gently just brush along the top but when I say gently I mean seriously very gently just like that and then you can go around and see there's already some dust coming off of there. I'll have to speak to the housekeeping team obviously the dashants have been failing in, the, in their duties and then it also allows you to get into all these little areas without doing any damage. And try to make sure you don't take all the gold off. You might be quite good at many things, but I doubt you're very good at gilding. Next we come to books. Now I learnt from, can I say, the professionals back in the day. And the technique that they use is again the paintbrush. So it's a paintbrush, obviously it's not been used, but it's got very soft bristles. And that is perfect for cleaning a book. You can also use a, a duster, but we're talking about a new duster, just to do the sides of the book as well, if it needs to be done. And another important tip is how you store them, and that's what you're now going to see. Because strictly speaking, books are supposed to be stored on the side, which means that then you don't put stress on the spine if you're storing them upright. But of course, most homes store them upright because of space. But originally, they should actually be stored at this if possible. When it comes to the actual brushing, all you do is you pick up the book carefully and then very gently, you're just going to run 
the brush along the top of the book like that and then obviously you're going to bring it down the side and then lastly you're going to do it underneath. With this book I can also just very gently go over the sides like that. This has got a lot of detail on this book and this brush is perfect just for making sure there's no dust in any of that. And it's as simple as that. Now again we've got one of the youngsters learning how to do this so I'm going to ask Imbo's sister Moana to demonstrate how she cleans the books. My final tip today is how to clean your crystal chandeliers around your home. Now I'm sure we've all got crystal chandeliers that we want to give them a clean and if you haven't got your butler to do it then we have to do it ourselves. Now for this you need some warm soapy water, maybe a little drop of fairy liquid. If you don't have that then just use some warm water especially if they're not too greasy. You also need a cloth to apply the water and obviously something to buff them up once, once you're ready to clean them. It doesn't just apply to crystal chandeliers, it can apply to lamp, glass lamps, anything you've got around the home that's got glass, it's the best way to clean it. And also, you need, as I mentioned, a cloth to put it on. I have my green glass cloth, and I have a glass, a traditional glass cloth, just for giving it a bit of a buff. I say traditional glass cloth, it's obviously a tea towel. That's all you need. I'll demonstrate this, and then we'll get the dashants to have a go. I might not ask them to clean the chandeliers, they might, their legs are a little bit short, and I don't know if we'll have a ladder that's, that's tall enough for them. Hmm. So as I said, we have a cloth here. I've already applied, obviously, a bit of water to this, some warm soapy water. You're gonna take one piece of the crystal in the glass and you're gonna very, very gently just give it a wipe all round. This, of course, can take quite a while to do. And then once you've done one piece, then you come back with your glass cloth Get the piece again and then you're just going to give it a buff. And hopefully it should be as polished as that. Right, okay, so I think now I'm going to get the Dashants to demonstrate how they do this. Now, um, where are they? Imwa? Wana? Assistance, please. So there's a few cleaning tips for you to put into practice while you're in lockdown. If there's anything else you'd like to know how to clean, there might be other antiques or items that you're not too sure about, let me know. Send me a message, either email me at info at theroyalbutler.co.uk or put a message in the comments section below and then, because we read them all the time, and it'll give us some ideas of what else we can possibly demonstrate.